Howdy, howdy, Fruit Loops. A to the O here, joined by my best friend, Pete of the E to the A to the... I think they get it, dude. No need to bore them with every single letter of the alphabet. Well, I sure hope they're not bored by every letter of the alphabet, because that's exactly what we're doing today in the A to Z shopping challenge. <laughs> oh, I know this challenge. This is the one where we have to find items starting with every letter, right? That's why we're in a dollar store instead of the kitchen. Right you are. And this is my kind of dollar store pair. It's got everything from the annoying orange to the annoying orange. <laughs> uh. Anyway, Pear and I will take turns putting items into our carts until we get through the whole alphabet. If either of us gets stumped, he has to buy everything in the other person's cart. Fine by me. It's a dollar store. How bad could the price tag get? I think you might be surprised, Pear. Some of the items in here might blow your mind. <laughs> what? What do you mean by that? Why did you phrase it like that? Three minutes on the clock, please. Ready, set, go. <laughs> okay, I found something that starts with A, an acrylic paint set. Nice, and for B, I got blasting caps. C is for colored pencils. D is for dynamite. E, uh, let's see here. Ooh, ooh, an eraser. Found some fuses for F. For G, here's a glue stick. Nice, for H, I found a book called How to Explode Things. Dude, what aisle are you finding this stuff in? Um, the explosives aisle, of course. You. It's my kind of dollar store. <laughs> uh, two minutes remaining. Okay, fine. I is for... Illegal plans to build an explosive device? I is mine, dude. Oh. But I'll take it, just because I can't find any other items. All right, that means it's back to you for J. Easy. Jar of cyclotrimethylene trinitramine. Um, okay. Well, here's a keychain for K. Lead mononitro resorcinate. M, M&Ms. N, nitroglycerine. Orange. Whoa, you actually found an orange for the letter O? No, I was chastising you for picking only explosive items. Well, oh. well of course I'm only picking explosive items. I want this episode to be the bomb after all. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. Okay, O. Oatmeal. Ooh, the food aisle is a good idea. Let's see what I can find for P. Ooh, pie. Nice. I'm proud of you for not choosing an explosive. Romania, an autobiography slash confession, which I found inside this pie. <laughs> <laughs> One minute remaining. Fine. Moving right along to Q, Q-tips. And for R, really explosive chemicals. S, socks. Oh, that means I have tea. Awesome. Oh, I hope they have some in stock. Yes, I found some TNT under there. Underwear. <laughs> I can't believe you fell for it. No, I mean underwear. That's my you item. Oh, gotcha. Ha. Okay, so that means it's V to me. Better go with very explosive chemicals. <laughs> for W, I found a water bottle. And for A, I found these extremely explosive chemicals. <laughs> For my final item, I give you Y. Yo yo. Wow, we're all ready to Z? Hmm. Well, what am I gonna do for Z? Ah, well, I gotta find something quick. <laughs> Let me guess. You're gonna choose something highly explosive. Oh, I wish, but oh man, I, I can't find anything in the explosives aisle that starts with Z. You're kidding. Oh, I'm not. Oh no, Bear. This is terrible. I had a whole explosion motif at play here, and now it's ruined. Why do you care? It's not like I had a motif. Sure you did. You had a boring motif. I mean, there's no way you chose all those super boring items in your cart by accident, right? Um. But what am I talking about? Of course you would choose them on purpose. No one would possibly put so many incredibly boring items in one cart without meticulous planning and a clear, clear vision. Uh, whatever you say, dude. Ah, well, I guess I'll have to be the one who brings the episode down. Bummer I couldn't find anything explosive. All I could find was this dumb old Zippo lighter. Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> ah!